As you know, every Monday we bring for you our next frontier. And over the last few years, farmers have lost thousands of bags of grain due to post-harvest losses. This has mainly been through contamination by aflatoxin, a naturally occurring highly toxic residue linked to poor storage. But these losses can now be minimized with the introduction of a small portable grain drying machine that is locally made and also available. On this week's Next Frontier, Philip K. Tan explains how this equipment works and what it means for farmers. Take a look. Over the last few years, Kenya has lost both life and large amounts of harvested maize, groundnuts and other grains due to the deadly fungus known as aflatoxin. Poor handling, storage and general lack of awareness are some of the reasons linked to the lost harvest and diseases for those who consume such produce. The lack of proper drying and harvest has left many farmers put to store their grains with high moisture content which provide good grounds for aflatoxin to thrive. According to the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, Kenya loses an estimated 10.8 billion shillings annually due to poor post-harvest handling, adding that the figure is too big to be ignored in a country that grapples with food shortage. But that could soon change. Meet Sophie Walker, the brains behind new portable and low-cost drying technology that could lead to massive changes in the grain storage. And so we were looking at how do we provide that innovation, how do we look at something that will work in the field at the farmer level that will bring their grain dry so that they can use hermetic storage which prevents aflatoxin getting worse. The dryer takes a maximum of half a ton of maize per session and regardless of how high the moisture content is, the maize dryer will only take four hours to bring the moisture content to 13.5% which is the required level for stored maize. Drying is actually very technically complicated, I have since discovered. And so the air around us is full of relative humidity, water. And on a sunny day, that relative humidity drops, so it's easy to dry. But on a cloudy day or a day that's raining, of course the relative humidity is very high. This new dryer will reduce the time in which grains is left exposed outside and minimize further losses. One of the constraints of the dryer is that it only takes half a ton of maize per batch. And it takes, if your maize is 18% moisture, sort of quite wet, you know, having li been in the crib for a couple of, you know, weeks, it still takes four hours to dry it from 18 to around about 13.5%. The dryer is locally manufactured by Juakali Artisans, and it will take three weeks if you order for one, and goes for 125,000 shillings. The biggest challenge, actually, is awareness. Because if people don't know there's a drying service, they don't ask people for a drying service and therefore the shellers don't supply a drying service. With the anticipated El Nino rains expected at the end of this month and last until December, the country's grain basket region, particularly in the Rift Valley and Western Kenya, will be hard hit. And this could reduce October harvest by at least 30%, exposing farmers to huge losses and putting the country's food security situation in a precarious position. But according to Sophie, this small dryer can help minimize or eliminate any potential losses that might come with the El Nino rains. Over the last few years, small-scale maize farmers have been losing a substantial amount of their maize harvest due to the effects of aflatoxin. But with this new, small, ingenious, portable drying solution, these farmers are now expected to smile all the way to the bank as it will help them minimize their losses. Philip Caetan for the next frontier.